it appears that it will actually fit without cutting the roof. Or we'll see. Welcome to Unity Update episode 7. Now these few weeks have been really interesting. First thing we've had a 15 ton 5 axis CNC arrive to the building and it's being set up right now. We've also been to Kuka Nordic in Gothenburg. They do automation for production lines, so they do these orange robots. But first of all, we're actually going to show you an interview with Tim and Bianca, our head of composites and our head of uh, supply chain management. And they're actually going to talk a little bit of why we chose composites at Unity and how we're going to do it and why we're going to do it. Yeah. So let's watch that. My name is Bianca and I'm mainly doing the supply chain at Unity. Tim here at Unity, uh, head of composites. Uh, I've got about 10 years experience in composites. Very wide ranging from racing cars, Formula 1 cars, fast cars for Jaguar, to get a space project forever. Very huge structures for offshore wind investors, also a satellite system, rockets. In other words, I like composites. We decided to go with composites because it gives us a greater flexibility from a design point of view, for example. We can build more complex uh, shapes and it can have a lower uh, environmental impact depending on the resin systems that we can use and also the uh, reinforcement that can have high uh, bio-based content such as natural fibers. So instead of using steel parts as you see in uh, traditional cars, we decided to go with composites. It can have uh, the same properties or actual greater properties than the steel parts. Just to give you a bit of an overview of how a uh, fully automated production line works, it's basically comprised of several workstations. Uh, these can be assembly robots, for example. All these workstations are uh, linked with a transfer system and an electrical control system. So now I'm going to explain how you make composite parts in a fully automated factory environment. First you receive rolls of fiber which can be carbon fiber, flax fiber, any fiber you'd like. These are then cut by a cutting machine that's controlled by a computer. These 2D shapes that are cut out are then handled by an automated robot that puts them into a preforming station. This preforming station applies heat and pressure in a mold and actually makes these 2D shapes into 3D shapes. These are then transferred by automated industry robots into a resin injection chamber. This resin injection chamber actually glues the part together and gives it its mechanical and structural properties. These are then put into a curing station where the glue gets to dry and then you have a finished component that you can glue it together with others to create the final car. So what you saw there was how you make an automated production line for composites. However, at Unity right now we have two projects going on at the same time. The first one is to build the valuation prototype, and it's actually a model of the real car. The second is to plan out the production line for when we're ready to build the factory. So we're actually planning out this production line ahead of time. And this is possible through a software that Siemens provided us with, which we're very thankful, by the way, for. Thank you, Siemens. And we can actually plan out how every robot is moving and how the machines work and cooperate with the robots. And that means that the very first car that comes out from our real production line is a car that we can sell, which is really yeah, awesome. impressive. We can absolutely provide the end-to-end -end processes and support for the end-to-end -end processes. Uh, so absolutely in a joint uh, partnership, we will be part of it. From a Siemens perspective, I represent the, the virtual part of Siemens within Digital Factory. In the case of a robot, you can simulate the full process. So you can get this facility to run fully automated, but really combine the physical with the, with the virtual is, is key, where you shorten the lead times, you can virtually verify uh, uh, your, your innovations. Uh, I truly believe that you will do that. What I've seen here and what I feel, uh, I think you are absolutely uh, spot on and uh, you will make it. So the Siemens software prepares us for the automation line and we also need robots to make the job for us. So we went to KUKA Nordic in Gothenburg and had a meeting to discuss the uh, possibilities for automation. So let's see some robots. Hey Connie, we from Unity Sweden. We have some more, but I don't know. Um, so we intend on being a leader in the light electric vehicle space. Um, obviously an emerging field for fully automated mass-scale manufacture of composite materials. Basically this is the composite structure. We have 
two side panel moulding, uh, a roof moulding, front bulkhead system, two big floor mouldings, uh, and a simple rear moulding as well. You know, we can have stationary gluing guns and we have two robots and actually they take it and then they're cooperating. I can support you with a robot, I can some robot knowledge. The sooner we can decide the better which chance we have to have something we can do. Then we'll put in a big purchase on. In November. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, definitely interested. There's a, there's a new world opening. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a hundred of these and see them in the factory floor, all wrapped in plastic, and just pull the plastic off them one by one. A whole army of these robots. So those robots are for the automated production line in the factory. However, to finish the prototype, we need some other machines. So amongst others, we've ordered a 5-axis, 15-ton CNC machine. Now, a CNC machine, it's a bit like a 3D printer, but in reverse. So instead of adding material, you take material away, like you're building an ice sculpture, for example. And taking this material away is done by a drill that is computer controlled. So you can take a CAD model and make it into reality within a day. And it can cut out of uh, foam, wood, or even aluminium. So we can actually make the molds that we're talking about for the production of the composites. And we can actually make full-scale iterations of the car with very complex shapes. So let's watch the unboxing of the 15-ton 5-axis CNC machine that we got last week. What are we doing, Yuan? Uh, we're trying to fit a machine into this space that is too big for this space. Robin is really, really nervous and has been nervous for weeks. And it's how big? Too big. And how high? That high. <sighs> we'll make it fit. Still? Yeah. It's happening finally. This is gonna be fun. The, the problem is the ceiling height. It's almost too low to actually mount. It fits. Yeah, I'm talking stronger living, I'm talking stronger soul We taking our position and never letting go I'm talking stronger living, I'm talking stronger soul We taking our position and now they yelling ho
breathe yeah. And for another day, did he let me live Man. And for another day, did he let me see Come I'm on I'm getting stronger, okay right. I'm getting stronger my way right. I call it stronger living And you know yeah. I'm driven Anything that's given, call it stronger yeah. living Now I'm getting stronger every day right. Now I'm living better every week right. I'm going hard like every hour oh. I Promise that you never catch me weak yeah. I'm getting stronger, okay right. I'm getting stronger my way right. I call it stronger living And you know yeah. I'm driven Anything Hey everyone, so me and Isaac produce these videos, we film them, we cut them, we narrate them and everything for only you. We really enjoy doing this so you can see the whole process of making Unity and how we're progressing and making the car. But we also need a little help. It would really mean a lot to us if you could share this video with your friends, perhaps on social media, if you could like it, subscribe it, and then we could get the videos out to more people so that everyone can follow the process of Unity. That would be the best promotion we could ever imagine. So thank you for watching once again. Have a great day. And, and remember, like, like, like comment, share. subscribe. <laughs> okay. Like, like share, share and subscribe, subscribe.